Yeah, good morning. My name is Bob Newman from TCW Technologies, and we're at AirVenture 2021 this year, to, and we're pleased to announce and introduce our uh, backup battery system that has recently received STC AML approval for nearly 100 GA aircraft. Uh, we, many of you have seen us before. We've been around the experimental market for over 13 years now, and we've been building our backup battery products for our avionics since 2010. Uh, we've been in, uh, we have our backup battery system in over 8,000 experimental aircraft at this point and have a tremendous experience and, uh, and track record with our backup battery system, our IBBS system. This platform was used and, uh, and certified by the FAA and we've gone through all of the regulations to get TSO approval followed by STC approval uh, for use of this product in our GA airplanes. Uh, so this product, our backup battery system, provides emergency power to critical avionics. So in this example, we have a navigator here. We can provide power to navigators and EFIS systems in GA aircraft now. And in the event of an electrical system uh, power failure, the backup battery system will take over and continue to run the navigator and the EFIS system. I can show a complete electrical system failure. I just shut off the aircraft bus. The backup battery system takes over, and in this case, the navigator doesn't need to miss a beat. It doesn't need to reset, keeps right on operating. The, uh, the importance of this system, besides giving us critical power, also allows us to have equipment up and running for engine starting. Another key feature, a nice thing, especially with EFA systems nowadays, uh, very often our engine monitor information is presented right on the EFAS. When you start the engine, it sure is nice to know if you have oil pressure. Very often, uh, equipment will reset when you start your engine. Again, with our system, that doesn't happen. The backup battery takes right on over. The EFA system never misses a beat, never resets. Now, our STC equipment is based right on our experimental equipment. It was the basis for our, our platform, and the equipment out there has a, a really nice proven track record. We really didn't have to change anything within our hardware to get our approval. We just had to work through the details uh, and the process was a nearly six year long process to, to, uh, to get that goal. So TCW had to go through all of the regulations. We have an approved quality system, approved manufacturing system, and we build this in Emmaus, Pennsylvania uh, under, those, under that uh, FAA approved system. So our, uh, our products, we have both 12 volt and 24 volt products. We have a three amp hour model and a six amp hour model at 12 volts. And at 24 volts, we have a three amp hour model, which is about the same size here as the six amp hour. Um, in the experimental market, the backup batteries run from uh, $230 to uh, 395 for, the, um, for these two products. And in the certified world, they run from about 575 to right around $1,000 for the approved models. These are all in stock. One of the things that we really, really wanted to do was when we introduced our product, as ready, it was ready. We were not interested in bringing out vaporware. Uh, we've had these units in stock and they've been uh, selling for quite a while. And in fact, uh, we only received our STC AML three weeks ago and we already have our first customer with a signed off uh, airplane in a 182. Um, and so that is that is a done deal. So thanks for, for uh, visiting today at TCW. We're in Hall D at booth 4058. We'll be here all week. Be happy to answer any questions you have and we look forward to seeing you. Thank you.